So you guys are in the vlog? Hi, Sean. Oh, it's a sign. What's his date? Uh, February, February 22nd. Uh, yeah, 22nd. Today's February 22nd. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just trying to have a good time. Whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. hey. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, guys, so the past two days have been a non stop roller coaster ride of projects, presentations, and exams. So yesterday's presentation was a target case study competition that Adam and I joined. And I have to say, I think we killed it. Dude, that would be incredible. That would be an incredible commercial. Right. Here's competitive landscape, which we did on. This, I'm gonna talk about the competitive landscape and what people are doing. Walmart's buying Jet. Amazon, just well which is digital. So Walmart is retail based, right? Or right. brick and mortar. Now they're buying digital space. The idea is But the digital is space one. is buying a brick and mortar space. Right, exactly. Right. But what you didn't see is that the whole PowerPoint slide was put together that day while trying to study for exams. So it was crazy. Like we were in the car driving there and I'm like editing PowerPoints and asking him what he thinks and looking up data and this and that. But regardless, we got it done. And I think we're going on to the next round for sure. I pretty much didn't study for my exams today. So I woke up early this morning, got to school, started doing that. And then when I realized I knew how to do most of it, but not all of it, I went to one of my good friends who seemed to know like every last bit of it, and he showed me the rest. Right. You have 446 today, right? Yeah. So do I. Oh wait, you have to do? Mm -hmm. What time? Well, same time as me? Two, yeah. Bro, how do you do? Okay, this is great. This will help you, to, you out too then, because I don't know. Really... I know all your oh, between, oh, okay, but practically it's the midpoint between two locations. Because these are added up distances. We're getting somewhere. Okay, this is... It's like a total the dots. Dip, connecting yeah. the dots, yeah, right? The exam felt like it went, uh, I don't know, but uh, we'll see, I don't know. Miracles happen, I guess. After everything was taken care of, my by far favorite thing about today was meeting up for that NASA project that I've been telling you guys about. And I'm still kind of waiting to present it to you guys and show it off and like kind of like explain really what we're doing. But essentially today, we have multiple parts of the project, the manufacturing piece, the planning piece, but today we're working on coding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. These, are like, these are like things that people have already coded like yeah. they're like blocks of code that people have already done and we can just like import them and say basically I think I just did it this way because the sensor that we have measures pressure and the, the sensor itself does the calculation to get temperature so the same calculation we were going to do is what it does to get temperature going through get right like what it's going to be going through and then like the outputs and that's going to be another input for something else like, it would be nice if we could outline that. Oh, this, we gotta figure out how this works. Mm -hmm. But, um... And then we also have to create a main... Everything open on the back end, right? And we can just use, say if you wanted to, hypothetically, you could just use one sliver, right? And leave all the rest on the back end if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah. Right? Just and it wouldn't hurt know, anything. That's how code is. Right, that's how it all works, right? We don't know what we're using exactly. That's the, that's the issue. You need to make sure it's, like, not interconnected. Maybe you start, like, uh, doing, like, requirements. Uh, description, deliverable dates, system tests. I tested that guy, that, that guy right here. He tested the dielectric of air, which was one, yeah. and he was able to send this thing floating into the air. Kilovolts? I'm not sure. Just to float that little um, metal plate up. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you had diamonds, which was 2,000 of them. You don't even have to use that much electricity to float it up. And this guy explained his theory, how it created um, a gravity well or something like that. And working with that team today, developing the code and figuring things out and like starting to like game plan what we're going to be doing and our deadlines, it's just crazy to think. It like just sets off so many light bulbs in my brain about how how you could be more easily like being ready for the real world and like succeeding in these interviews and like understanding real world application and you know so many people just sit in class and complain like oh this isn't what you do in the real world or oh this is um like this stuff's boring compared to like other stuff or when are we going to actually start doing some real stuff like these are the real things that you could actually start doing on campus joining you know organizations or clubs or even in high school or doing DIY projects on YouTube like I've talked about before just these are the things like this is it this is the real world this is how it works it's those clips that you just saw it's getting a circle talking stuff out realizing that half the room understands this half the room doesn't it's them realizing that I don't understand the computer code talk and they're trying to help me out and I'm trying to relate to things like that's the real world this is how it works this is how it works within companies this is how it works within any club or organization at all and if you can succeed in those 
environments and talk with people and learning how to do things and, and learning on the go and, and being a good person who like can contribute something of value and true understanding. Like these are the things that matter. Yeah, the classroom matters, getting good grades matters to an extent. But if you can figure out these things, these are the things that I hold in my heart as key. These are the things that I think are gonna like Take your resume, bump it up. Take it, forget the resume. It's gonna take you as a person and it's gonna like add value and layers to you in ways that like everyone else around you doesn't fully have yet. But anyway, I'm gonna be trying to add in more of these projects and like full full videos on these projects, not just like this one where I'm giving you a little update or a little peek or whatever. It's gonna be full videos on like what we're doing and introducing the team and and how we're gonna do it and when what the date is and how you can follow up with me on it and all these different things. Please keep in mind that yes, I'm uploading videos on YouTube, but I'm not a videographer. I'm not good with this stuff yet so this whole video has been pieced together and it's probably crappy and it doesn't flow right like a story quite yet but it is going to but be sure to like and subscribe I will see you guys next time and I promise you I'm gonna get better this rubber, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire 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 oh, so